Hi everyone, I've had a few questions about how I've created my hide and reveal hidden text activity for Jamboard. I wanna offer a few tips and tricks so that you are able to create your own version of this if you would like to. One thing to consider when looking at Jamboard is that there are only six colors of font right now, which means it's a little bit more challenging to find the perfect background that is going to hide the text that you want for students to find. I had to play around with it a lot in Google Slides and customize the color over and over again, save it as a background, put it into the Jamboard to find the right color. So I would recommend going and downloading the copy that I have shared on my Twitter page if you haven't done so already, if you were looking to use it in Jamboard and just save you a little bit of time with playing around with the background matching the font that they have. Another option is to do it in Google Slides. In Google Slides, you have more color choices and you can use the whole board the way you would like to. To do that, I am going to go to a blank page really quickly I like to add the background, the shapes into the master slide deck so that students aren't able to move that piece around. It just looks like this once you go into it and you can pick any shape that you would like to hide the text and just add it to the background. And again, more freedom with colors. They have the same colors for shapes as they do for the fonts, which makes it really easy and quick to use. I have closed out of that. And this is where you're going to now put in the semi-transparent magnifying glass. The reason that you want it to be semi-transparent is so that it gives the illusion of it is clear in the middle. It is used to look at things and it catches the text that you have posted for them, which gives it a little bit more of a fun feel to it. I like to use Pixabay when I'm looking for images and I will switch it over to vectors. So you can use images. I like to use the clip art sometimes. And I do know that there are a lot of options when I'm looking on Pixabay. As you can see, some of them aren't going to have the semi-transparent background, which will make it really hard for you to have that illusion that it is clear in the middle of the glass and that you are coming across the text that is hidden within your slide deck. There are a lot of options, as I've mentioned. I know that this one works well. I've played around with a few of them and it is my go-to. It is downloaded already to my computer, but I will show you again how easy it is to download a picture from Pixabay. Once you have your image saved, add it to your Google Slides. The reason that I suggest adding the magnifying glass second is because you always want for the font and the text to be at the front when you're considering the order of the items within your slide deck. That way, when you are going over them or you're going to catch them, this magnifying glass actually goes behind the font and that is why it looks like it's catching the hidden text. Now that you have that in there, you can add it in a text box, put the text wherever you want. You can make it bold so that it is going to stand out a little bit more. Again, you want for it to be the same color as the background. So if it's on the white, it looks like that. If I put it over the shape, it disappears and you can no longer see it. At that point, students can then use the magnifying glass and drag it over. When it's not in front of the text or behind the text, you don't see it. And then when it lines up behind the text, again, because the text is in front, you're able to see the hidden message. You can add as many things as you want to it. It can be done for vocabulary, self-checking. It's a really awesome tool and it adds just a little bit more of a fun feel to it when students are working through an activity. Hopefully these tips are helpful. Hopefully you are able to create your own version of this and have fun with it. Thanks.